my lifetime, over the last 20 years or so, the destructive nature and, the, uh, and they've demonstrated the American government's contempt for international law, international law and UN Charter. Uh, these bases in the UK played a murderous role in the former Yugoslavia, for example, Bosnia and Croatia. They murderously bombed Serbia, including dropping depleted uranium shells on Serbia, which has caused massive increases uh, in cancer rates across the country. And of course, this base, has, uh, this base has played an integral role in the invasion and occupation of Iraq, which, let's not forget, has given rise uh, to ISIS. And of course, uh, this base and the rest of them in this country have provided crucial intelligence and logistical support to British and French intervention in Libya, which has turned that country into a failed state and has enabled IS, IS, uh, ISIS and Al-Qaeda to have a major presence uh, in the country. And also finally, American bases in the UK are, are continuing to destabilize Syria and the destabilization of Syria has resulted in the refugee crisis and it has resulted in ISIS being brought uh, to the capitals of Europe, uh, including, including London, and we have to be very, very clear about that. So all of the examples of the malignant nature of American bases in the UK, which I've just cited, clearly show that the British public has been endangered by their presence, and yet, British mainstream media and consecutive British governments, regardless of their political persuasion, say nothing to ordinary British people about the dangers which these bases pose to them. So that is why it's down to all of us uh, to keep on exposing them, and especially because in the 21st century we have a formidable weapon uh, at our disposal, which of course is social media, which is the internet. Lastly, and most dangerously of all, American bases in the UK are playing a leading role, role in the West's antagonistic campaign against Russia. Today, Russia finds itself in an intolerable situation where NATO is on its doorstep, and also it has an American missile defense shield on its doorstep, which of course uh, went live uh, last month. So once again, let's be clear. Russia's national security is being seriously threatened, and Russia is going, and, Ru and Russia is going, and Russia is going to respond. After all, uh, Russia didn't sacrifice 27 million of its people in the Second World War so that NATO, 70 years on, could threaten the Russian people. Russia is a military and nuclear superpower, and it's going to respond to this threat. And the American bases in Britain, including this one are on Moscow's radar, literally and figuratively speaking. So I don't have to spell out to you, to all of you people today, uh, what that potentially means. Uh, it's, uh, you know, for the, for the ordinary man in the UK, for the ordinary uh, person in the UK, that prospect is a terrifying scenario, and the British public need to be aware uh, of the, the dangers of these American military bases. And the British government, of course, uh, is compliant in that. We must also remember uh, that US bases in Britain undermine the UK's independence and sovereignty. Why should our independence and sovereignty be undermined? Also, that all because the US can continue with its brutal grip on the world, causing carnage in doing so, and causing abject pain and suffering from pe in people's lives across the, wo across the world. Uh, so let us continue to take uh, to social media, informing British people about what, Brit about what US bases on their soil actually mean for their safety and security, and how, ironically, this threat uh, to British people's well-being is actually being inadvertently funded by them through taxpayers' money. So, just to round up, um, I think we, could, we need to keep on spreading the word, keep on exposing uh, the malignant nature of these bases, and to keep on campaigning to rid Britain of the destructive military machine. And I'd just uh, like to say once again, thank you so much for having invited me. Thank you so much uh, to Susanna uh, when I received the email. 
uh, from you inviting me today. Uh, I really was touched, I really was honoured. I've never been to one of these uh, before, and for me it's an absolute privilege to be with uh, people 